Good evening. I'm a Greg Fisher, businessman, mayor of Louisville. I want to thank you all, of course, for your service on this commission. Uh, there's a big trend taking place that the people of the world, the nation, of Kentucky are moving to cities. Almost 60% of Kentucky citizens now live in the metropolitan areas, and these metropolitan areas support the state. An example, Louisville generates $2.4 billion in tax revenue and only receives $1.2 billion back. If we were a company, we, Louisville, would be the lead product, and all smart companies know to invest in their lead product. Now, before I talk about tax revenue, I want to assure you that I realize the importance of running a lean, cost efficient organization. We're focused on innovation and cost production in every day of the city. My business people also know the value of having a stable and diverse revenue stream, particularly in uncertain times. Now, a recent study by U of L reported that of the 46 states that have a sales tax, only 12 do not have a mechanism by which cities cannot share in that sales tax revenue. Kentucky is one of the unfortunate 12. Of our seven mortgage states, only two do not share sales tax revenue with their local governments. So let's keep Kentucky cities competitive by considering two steps. One, Kentucky should dedicate a portion of the state sales tax to be returned to, be returned to the community that collect that tax. And two, Kentucky should also grant cities the option of a small local sales tax to fund special projects. Cities all over the country provide their citizens with an option to determine the vision of their city through local referenda. In Kentucky, we would need a change in our state constitution to make that happen. But your group is up to the challenge of making big and bold suggestions. I would ask you to do so. We, Louisville, and other cities simply must have this tool to stay competitive with other cities that are growing their amenities. Whether it be a major public transportation project or a forensic crime lab, cities all over the country have this tool in their economic development toolbox, and the cities of Kentucky do not. In October, 100 of our citizens are going to be going to Oklahoma City, a city that has a local option sales tax. There we'll see how they build the revenue, the pump that pumps the houses in the NBA team, and look at growing training center, new schools, all at, because of a local option sales tax. And I'm just asking that Kentuckians and all of the little villages be granted the right to decide for themselves in the local option sales tax revenue, the best way to invest in their community. Now, on the state side, uh, the work that we're doing with Lexington and advanced manufacturing on the beam initiative, I'd ask that you all consider a tax credit for manufacturers who invest in an apprenticeship program, advanced manufacturing apprenticeship program. These programs are vital to addressing the skill gap that we currently see in manufacturing and the states to encourage companies to invest in this area. So please, it's imperative that you all consider the tax needs of cities in your work. To not consider the tax needs of cities. Cities would be like a Ford Motor Company redesigning a car and only working on the outside appearance. Please work on the engine, and that is tax policy for Kentucky cities as well. Thank you. Thank you.